In this lecture, we will learn how to work with artifacts to save job data. So here, for example, we have this uh, workflow. Here we will remove the Docker stage and we will enable the test and deploy stage. We will enable also the test job and the deploy job. And we will move the jobs of the Docker stage to the bottom, okay? So here we have a pipeline with three stages, build, test, and deploy. And we have these three jobs. So what we want to do here is to create something in the build job to simulate the build result of this job. And then we want to make it available to the test job and the deploy job to test it and deploy it. Here we will learn how to save something from a job like a file or a directory and how to make it available to the other jobs. So after executing the slip command, we will create a file by executing echo build result and save the result in a file called build.txt. So on this job, in the build job, we will create this file called build.txt. We want to save this file and we want to make it available to the test job and the deploy job. We can do that using artifacts. So if we go here to the documentation of GitLab, we find here that we can use artifacts to specify the files that we want to save as job artifacts. These job artifacts can be files and directories. And here we find that by default, all the jobs in later stages will automatically download the artifacts created by the jobs in earlier stages. And we can change the artifact download behavior using the dependencies and the needs keywords. Here in the bottom, we find the keywords that we can use with the artifacts uh, keyword. For example, we can use the path to specify the files and the directories that we want to save. Here, if we go to the bottom, we find the expiring keyword to specify how long these artifacts will be uh, stored. We have also the name keyword to uh, give each artifact a unique name. So let's go back here to uh, the pipeline editor. So here we want to save the build.txt file. If you press here, control space, we will see all the keywords that we can use here. Let's type artifacts. So it comes with these default values. So here using the one keyword, we specify when we want to uh, save these artifacts. It can be on success or on failure or always. We have also the expiring keyword to specify how long these artifacts will be uh, saved. We can give this artifact a name, for example, using the name keyword. We will call it, for example, build result. We will use the path keyword to specify the files that we want to save. Here we want to save the build .txt file. So now let's commit the changes and see the execution of the pipeline. So now the pipeline was triggered. So now we have three stages, the build stage, the test stage, and the deploy stage. Let's see the execution of the build job. So 
Tanav the pill shop was completed uh, successfully. And here we find after the execution of the script of the job, we find here a new step, which is uploading artifacts for successful job. So here it finds the build.txt file and then it start uploading the artifacts, okay? So now because we are defining the artifacts in the build job, here a new step is added to upload the artifacts. Let's go back to the pipeline to see the execution of the uh, next jobs. If we go to the test job, so the test job was also completed uh, successfully. And here we find also a new step before executing the main script of the job, which is downloading artifacts. So here the test job start first of all downloading the artifacts of the previous job, which is the build job, before executing the script of the job. So by default, the artifacts created by job will be available for all the jobs in the next stages. For example, here the artifacts created by the build job will be available and downloaded by the test job and by the deploy job. The same for the deploy job. So let's see the execution of the deploy job. So here we find that before executing the main script of the deploy job, the job starts first of all by downloading the artifacts of the build job. In the next lecture, we will learn how to change the artifacts uh, download behavior using the dependencies and the needs keywords. So that's it for now. I hope that everything is clear and see you next time.